Hello and good morning all you productivity junkies. I am your coach and trainer Darren Persinger and this is a Make It Happen Tuesday because we just came off a three day weekend so we missed the Monday but welcome to a Make It Happen Tuesday and a little productivity nugget for you. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about the importance of environment and its relation to productivity. First off, willpower, desire, um, those things are highly overrated. It's much easier to control your environment than it is to control your willpower. So I just want to give you guys some examples and see if this relates to your own business, to your own life. First off, I'd like to give you an example of someone that might want to make reading more a part of their life. Well, go home and take a look at your home. Take a look at your house. Take a look at your living room and the way it's set up. Is it a throne to television? Do you have the couch sitting there and the chairs all facing around a giant screen TV? And you wonder why you don't read or why your kids don't read. If you want to make reading part of your life, control your environment instead remove the big TV or set up a room somewhere else with comfortable chairs, great lighting, books, have library, a little mini library set up there where people can come and, and read books when they want to. Much easier to control your environment. Do you suffer from call reluctance? If you're a salesperson, do you find it a challenge to pick up your phone? Well, take a look at your desk space right now. Go ahead and look at wherever you're watching this and let me know where the phone is. Chances are you have your laptop front and center, right in the middle, and the phone is probably pushed behind the laptop or off to the back right corner if it's even on your desk. Well, that's a very big subconscious signal on what you're telling yourself on how you feel about the phone. You're pushing it away. You want to make it easier for you to pick up the phone and make phone calls? Put it smack dab in the middle of the desk. Get your keyboard, get your laptop, get your computer off the desk, get all the distractions away from you. It's easier to control your environment. Finally, I want to leave this with you guys on environment. The things that I'm talking about are, um, are just that. They're things. Um, they're inanimate objects. One of the most important environments to be surrounding yourself in is the people environment. So take a look around and see what kind of environment you're around with people. Highly, highly underrated who you surround yourself with. So in your business life, in your personal life, are you surrounding yourself with people that desire success, that want to achieve more, that are happy? Are you surrounding yourself with happy people? If you're unhappy, take a look at who you're surrounding yourself with it might be just you removing yourself from an environment that's unhealthy for you. So there's a quick little glance at how in, um, how your environment can greatly increase productivity. There's lots of other examples I could give you. If you guys want some on, Darren, how, how could my environment change? Here's where I'm at. Give me a call. Contact me, uh, twitter.com backslash Darren Persinger or I'll put my phone number up on here so that you'll be able to contact me via phone or email and we'll work on getting your environment changed because it's much easier to change your environment than it is to change anything else. Changing environment is highly underrated. We'll talk to you guys soon. Make this short week as successful as any other week. Have a great day.